Welcome to Slipstream's Clean Energy Careers video series. In this series, you will learn about Wisconsin's pathway to a clean energy future and the emerging workforce that will be needed to help us get there. In 2019, the state of Wisconsin set a goal that all electricity consumed in the state be 100% carbon free by 2050. Additionally, recent economic factors, along with utility, corporate, and policy actions are helping grow Wisconsin's clean energy future. But what do we mean when we say a clean energy future? So our cars, our homes, our buildings, everything is 100% renewable. And we're on the verge of that happening. One of the ways you can tell it's really close is a lot of businesses and local governments are starting to set goals about how fast they can get there. What do these goals mean for Wisconsin? Meeting 100% clean energy technology means investing first in energy efficiency. It is an incredible opportunity for us to create good jobs and reduce inequality in our state. Really the first place that my mind goes is um, clean energy jobs. And that's going to be a real opportunity to expand the clean energy workforce in Wisconsin and to ensure that the jobs in energy production remain within the borders of our state. How is Wisconsin going to achieve this goal? Wisconsin is going to reach its clean energy goal only if all of us engage. We need strong policy at the state level and the federal level and the local level that guides us. We need people to get involved to push and support that policy to be put into place. I think the way that we can achieve uh, carbon-free energy in the future is to continue some of the best practices that we are currently doing, utility-scale renewable energy. And this includes building energy benchmarking just to understand, you know, where we're wasting energy first. And at the same time, you could build a workforce to handle the influx of renewable energy and uh, storage that will come. You look at the possibility of needing battery storage. That technology is not yet scalable. It's not yet affordable. There is a lot of work to do. This involves upgrading our utility grid and educating a workforce that's ready to handle smart grid energy technology. So we need to build more wind and solar so we're getting all of our electricity from clean sources. We need to have our buildings be all electric. We need to be transitioning to electric vehicles and vehicles running on renewable natural gas. All of that is about how we get to the clean energy future. What industries are leading the way in Wisconsin? So many industries are leading the way in this moment. We have a number of communities that have set really ambitious climate goals. We've also got businesses from American Family to Kohler who are also setting clean energy goals. Xcel Energy in Wisconsin was one of the first utilities in the country to set those goals. WPPI Energy has about a 100 megawatt solar generation facility going up in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. So that's enough clean energy to power thousands of homes. So utilities and solar companies are getting a lot of press and in terms of leading the way for making big contributions to renewable energy. Every sector of our economy needs to transform from the very large to the very small. We have leaders in every sector and we also have room to grow in every sector. How can you get involved to help Wisconsin meet its goal? Really, no matter what your interest, there is work to do. Do you like food? Help us create more sustainable pathways from farm to table. Are you interested in art or communications? We need to help people in Wisconsin understand the urgency of climate change and how they can get involved. We need artists and communicators and that kind of work. Do you like working with your hands and being outside? You could install solar or wind. There are possibilities in every part of the economy and room for everyone to engage. There are a lot of amazing young people involved in clean energy at this point. 
Daphne Wu is a junior at Middleton High School, and Daphne, on her own, organized a coalition of environmental science students across Dane County to work on issues in their school around sustainability. The reason that I want to pursue this career path is because I know that with warm power and knowledge, I can make a bigger difference. If I held a role in the government, I would be able to, to help take action from the top instead of the bottom. It's really important for high school students to get involved in clean energy careers because the green industry is one of the fastest growing industries in America right now and in Wisconsin. Many companies have goals to become carbon net zero and run completely on renewable energy. Many cities have plans to encourage and incentivize citizens to install solar panels on their roofs. For Wisconsin to reach its sustainability goals, we will need a large enough workforce that can help really drive Wisconsin to clean energy. And I hope that adults will find ways to utilize and find inspiration from all the passionate environmental students across the state because we are such a crucial piece to long-term sustainability in Wisconsin. Are you interested in learning more about clean energy careers in Wisconsin? Take a look at the other videos in this series.